God bless you, everyone. Welcome to this prophetic ministry. And um, I know I released a couple videos, but um, I don't. I have a limited data, unlimited data, and I'm not too sure of how long I will have the data for. So I want to take full advantage of it. I not only that to um, uh, there is a there is strange occurrence of unforgiveness amongst the sons of God and the daughters of God, and it's to, it needs to be rectified um, first. But however, um, even if I'm praying against unforgiveness, I actually have to pray against the wrath of fornication, because that's something I suffer from, um, wrath of fornication and filthiness of fornication. And you know what the word of God says, that first you have to um, clean out uh, your, the mouth out of your eyes so you can see clearly, and then you'll be able to cleanse the mud out of your brother eyes so the word of god is trying to say is that we have to deal with ourselves first we have to deal with ourselves first and then when we get to know what we need to deal with then we'll be able to deal with others in a in in a spiritual way so they could so we could save their souls from hellfire so I said, I'm going to do this video. Now, I did the word of God for salt. But I, I now, the Lord didn't tell me about the unforgiveness thing. It was um, a vision that I had, and the Lord showed me, you know, um, um, a bedroom. And I was, in the dream, I was crying because, um, you know, he condemned me for almost five years. And in the vision, I, 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 I said, oh my gosh, he has unforgiveness, you understand, um, for whatever that I have done to him. So um, we're going to pray against the spirit of unforgiveness, and we're going to pray against by praying for forgiveness, you understand, like I've been praying for stuff against, I should be used against on Twitter, but I wanted to make sure I put this on YouTube since I'm unable to go live on YouTube, and also to reach out to those who actually are going through that there's some individual have unforgiveness and they don't know they have it or they don't want to accept that they have the spirit of unforgiveness so um we're gonna pray against unforgiveness and hopefully um well tomorrow god's willing because i have to make a schedule for the next three days but um, tomorrow, God's willing, we pray, but to be an, an ex, and to be pray against lack of fornication because there's a lot of fornication around me. There's a lot of people who are actually living with someone that is not their husband and not their. And when I tell them about it, I tell them, you know, um, sex outside of marriage is wrong. And I tell them my story and my testimony of how I was delivered or how I flee from that for almost 8, 10, 11 years. But I don't mean the spirit is not there. The spirit is still there. That's why I have to, the Lord is dealing with me because I'm praying that he'll deliver me from an unfortunateness of fornication. But I knew as well that he delivered you from an unfortunateness of fornication. Perpetually. But anyways, we're praying against the spirit of grief, unforgiveness, and um, everlasting unforgiveness. So uh, Matthew chapter five verse fourteen said, "For if you forgive one another, well, if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. If you forgive those who sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you." So I prophesy, declare, decree, and I pray. I need to go and contact my family in Lucia, but it's not easy to contact them. I don't know his number. But if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. So. I pray that you will forgive those who have sinned against you. Now, forgiveness is not easy. It is uh, something that's very difficult. You can only forgive when the Lord put give you the spirit of forgiveness. You cannot forgive on your own because, you know, we human, we, can, we tend to, we can hurt each other, you know. We humans have a tendency to hurt each other, you know, and we have flaws and we have, we have sinned against the Lord a lot. So, when someone does something to us, it's only the Lord Jesus Christ that can actually um, help an individual to forgive another. You understand what I'm saying? So, I pray in Jesus' name that you forgive so that the Heavenly Father can forgive you. Now, 
others who, if someone comes to you and they tell you that they forgive a person, but yet they will not contact the person or call the person or will not have any anything to do with the person, then they still have the spirit of unforgiveness because forgiveness is with love, forgiveness is with kindness, and forgiveness is with peace and in truth. You cannot say you forgive someone and then to have nothing to do with them. So the Heavenly Father will say, okay, well, I forgive you, but I do not talk to me, do not pray to me, do not ask me for nothing. The Heavenly Father is not like that. You, you understand what I'm saying? So when the Heavenly Father forgives us for sin, He, he gives us access to Him to pray, to talk to Him, to, to have a communion with Him, you understand, to ask Him for things. Do you understand what I'm saying? He, he just didn't say, okay, well, I forgive you, but don't talk to me. I forgive you, don't call me. I forgive you, don't text me. I forgive you, don't even come by me. You understand what I'm saying? That's not forgiveness. That's unforgiveness. So we pray against it. You understand? We pray against the spirit of unforgiveness and against the spirit of great unforgiveness and everlasting unforgiveness. So cast it out of the sons and the daughters of God, out of the prophetess and the prophets in Jesus' name. You understand? Let's go to the scripture. Luke chapter 11 verse 4 says, Forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone who has sinned against us. Lead none of us into temptation, but forgive us for our sins, and as we forgive those who have sinned against us. So I prophesy the clearly can I pray that the Heavenly Father will forgive your sins, and you'll forgive everyone who has sinned against you. I prophesy the clearly decree that the Lord will lead you not into temptations in Jesus' name. In my recording. In Jesus' name. And that you will forgive everyone who has sinned against you. Matthew chapter 6 verse 15. Um, but if you do not forgive others their sins, your far heavenly father will not forgive your sins. But if you refuse to forgive others, your heavenly father will not forgive your sins. So I prophesy, declare, decree in Jesus' name that the Lord will help you to forgive others as he helped him to forgive others so um, that the Heavenly Father can forgive your sins and that you forgive others as the Heavenly Father will forgive you and will definitely forgive you. Mark eleven twenty five. and when you stand and pray, if you hold anything against another, forgive them so that your Heavenly Father may forgive you of your sins. So here's an interesting thing. The Bible says when we pray that if we have anything against anyone, we forgive them. You understand? So a person with the spirit of unforgiveness will go ahead and pray and they will say, well, Heavenly Father, I forgive her, but I don't want nothing to do with her. I will not call her. I don't want her to text me. I don't want, you understand? And then it's so subtle that the spirit actually helped in it. You understand? So if a person don't really want to talk with anyone, there's some individual have great power, you know. They can stop themselves from calling someone, you know, something or texting someone. They could make their they could make their phone lost just so they don't communicate with an individual. It's some spiritual things, but yes, they can do that to get an excuse, I guess, or to try to point at the Lord or something. I don't know. You understand? But that doesn't really work because the Lord needs to have to check to see what's really going on with us. You understand? So we have to forgive one another in love. So here is 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 10. If you give anyone, I also forgive him. And what I have forgiven, if there's anything to forgive, I'll, oh, I have forgiven in the sight of Christ for your sake when you forgive. So here the Lord just prays, when you forgive someone, that he will also forgive them. So I prophesy the creative decree in Jesus name that you forgive everyone as much as you can. You understand what I'm saying? And I prophesy, declare, decree, I bound the spirit of unforgiveness and multitude and everlasting unforgiveness. 
I bound the filthiness of unforgiveness. I bound the wrath of unforgiveness, especially among the nation, and especially on YouTube. I bound in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit all lust of unforgiveness in Jesus' name. And I command the spirit of great unforgiveness and everlasting un unforgiveness to come out of everyone right now, especially those who minister, those who pray, those who release in videos. You understand? Those who, you know, are on the path of the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of God. I prophesy the same thing. I pray that the Lord will cast out the spirit of pain and forgiveness out of them and out of you and out of him and out of her perpetually in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I prophesy the same thing that the Lord will overthrow the plot and agenda of the spirit of great and forgiveness perpetually and cast out great unforgiveness out of their hearts perpetually in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I prophesy and decree, decree the Lord will execute judgment on the spirit of great unforgiveness in Jesus' name and I release and execute divine vengeance upon the spirit of great unforgiveness and unforgiveness right now in Jesus' name. I pray that the Lord will save their souls, especially those on YouTube, save their souls from hellfire and bring their souls to the kingdom of heaven and deliver them from the hands of great of unforgiveness and unforgiveness perpetually. I pray that the Lord will deliver um, the sons of God from all deception of unforgiveness in Jesus' name and let the deceptions of unforgiveness be executed and be bound and be exposed for everyone to see in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And I bow the spirit of this, the unforgiveness of deception in Jesus' name. And I pray that the Lord will, will go in the midst of all those who are in that hellish realm of unforgiveness and bring their souls to the realms of forgiveness where they can give and forgive the individual. And it's sometimes it's the other person who has to know what to do in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. But let the will of the Lord be done. In Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen.